Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am sharing a homemade drink made with a super fruit, Amla. Firstly, let's see what's Amla and what are the benefits of including Amla in our diet. As most of us know, Amla, also known as Indian gooseberry, is a winter fruit packed with a lot of nutrients essential for our body. Amla can be eaten raw but it can also be consumed in the form of juices, powders, jams, chutneys and so on. Amla is the only fruit that has five tastes. That is sour, sweet, bitter, pungent and astringent. The only taste it lacks is salty. It's widely used in Ayurvedic medicine. Now let's see the benefits of Amla. Amla is rich in ascorbic acid that's nothing but the vitamin C. Amla is called the powerhouse of vitamin C. 100 grams of Amla contains 600 milligrams of vitamin C which is 20 times higher than oranges. Vitamin C helps to boost our immunity and also helps the body to recover from illness. Amla is good for our skin and hair health. It helps in collagen formation. Hence, it has a very good anti-aging property. It also prevents premature greying of hair. The high antioxidant content in Amla helps in lightening skin pigmentations. It also helps in reducing inflammation. Amla is rich in fiber, so people with constipation problem can include Amla in their regular diet. It has an excellent anti-diabetic and cardioprotective properties. Amla is rich in mineral called chromium, which is essential for diabetic patients. Chromium helps in insulin production, thus decreasing the blood glucose level. Amla is good for heart health. It speeds up your overall metabolism. One of the main reasons for obesity is poor metabolism. Thus, Amla helps in flushing out toxins from your body that have accumulated. It also reduces the cholesterol levels. That is, it reduces the bad cholesterol without affecting the good cholesterol. Hence, it prevents chronic heart diseases. Phytonutrients like flavonoids and anthocyanins helps in lowering blood pressure, preventing heart diseases. Amlas are not only rich in vitamin C, they also contain vitamin A, which is important for our eye health. It prevents age-related macular degeneration. Its antibacterial property helps in preventing bacterial conjunctivitis. Vitamin C present in amla has been known to enhance intestinal absorption of dietary iron. It also nourishes the brain cell, hence prevents the risk of diseases like Alzheimer's and stroke. Amla has antiplatelet property, that is it prevents formation of blood clots. Thus, it reduces the risk of heart attack and stroke. Calcium content in amla is good for our bones and joint health. It can prevent osteoarthritis. Even though amla has a number of health benefits, too much consumption of it has its own side effects. People who are allergic to vitamin C should not consume amla. In some cases, it can cause hyperacidity leading to ulcers. Because of its antiplatelet properties, people with bleeding disorder should not consume amla. People who are to undergo surgery should stop consuming amla two weeks prior to the surgery. People under diabetic medication should keep a check on their blood sugar level as amla can reduce the blood sugar. During pregnancy and breastfeeding mothers should consume amla with caution. Having one or two amla per day is considered normal but however it's always best to consult your doctor before you start eating it on a regular basis. Now let's see how to make a simple amla juice. In a mixer jar add chopped amlas and half inch ginger. Add a little bit of water and grind it into a fine paste. Strain it and extract the juice. To the concentrate add one glass of water and a pinch of salt. Mix it and pour it in a glass. Add a teaspoon of honey and have it. It's always best to have it immediately once it's prepared. Hope you all like this video. Thanks for watching.